So in this example, the question asks us to, write, to draw the Newman projection and the Fisher projection for this molecule. Now the problem is that we, it's not that we can't draw the Newman projection and the Fisher projection, but rather we don't know how the stereochemistry of this molecule looks like when it comes to the shape. Now what do I mean by that? It means that we don't see that this fluorine is coming towards us or whether it's going back. But however, this name does tell us how the stereochemistry is developed. So I'm going to redraw the molecule and then we're going to draw the fluorine, the bromine with its correct stereochemistry. Now, this tells us that the, bro the, fluor the fluorine, so we're gonna start with the fluorine, it has an R stereochemistry. So that means it must be spinning this way when we're, ta when we're talking about the priority or prioritization on this carbon. So let's check. So fluorine is number one because it has the highest atomic number. When comparing these two carbons, this one has a bromine, so this is number two and this is number three. So it's spinning this way. Now that's an S spin. So that must mean that the hydrogen is actually pointing out towards us because if the hydrogen is pointing out towards us, that actually flips the stereochemistry if it's spinning that way. Now with this bromine, we're going to do the same thing. We have this carbon connected to a bromine, so that's number one. Now it's connected to two carbons, and this carbon has a fluorine compared to this one, just hydrogens and a carbon. So that'll be two, and this will be three. So it's spinning this way. So that's an S, and that is correct. So the bromine is pointing out towards us, and the hydrogen is back. So that's the correct stereochemistry of this molecule when it's drawn. So now it's a lot easier to just draw the Newman projection. If we just look at this, the floor, if we're gonna look at it this way, through this carbon, the fluorine is gonna be on our right, the hydrogen on our left, and the carboxylic group, or the carboxyl group on the bottom. Bromine's on the left, bottom left, hydrogen's on the bottom right, and this ethyl group is on top. And if we want to draw the Fischer projection, an easy way is just to rotate this carbon right here to get the carboxyl group going up. So we have our groups like this, essentially, and we have our carboxyl group. And it's the same molecule, one, two, three, four carbons, and then the fifth carbon right there with the carboxyl. And so the bromine still pointing out towards us and the hydrogen back. Now, since we rotated this, this hydrogen is going from in front of us to behind us, essentially going behind the screen. So hydrogen is going to be going back that way and fluorine is going to be pointing out this way if we rotate this carbon. Now, now it's a lot easier to draw the Fischer projection. All we have to do is just pick our side. So I'm going to say this carboxyl is the top part. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this ethyl group is on the bottom. And if you look at it, the fluorine is going to be pointing out and into us if this part is going to be going back. So if we re-look at it from a different way, look at it this way, we're going to see that the fluorine is coming out towards us and so is the bromine on our left and the hydrogen is going to be coming out towards us on our right. And if we look at it this going backwards, essentially we're going to see that the carboxyl group is like this and that ethyl group is like this. So we're going to put the fluorine and the bromine right here and the hydrogens over here. Just to remember that this perspective is talking about this fluorine being pointed towards you, this bromine towards you, same thing with the hydrogens. And these back groups are going backwards. So essentially that's just looking at this molecule going facing this way. So once you know the stereochemical relationship and how it's drawn, it's easier to just look at the Fischer projection by just rotating that, those two carbons where you have two groups in a straight line and the groups on it is facing towards you and everything else is just facing backwards. So that's how you draw your Fischer projection and as well as your Newman projection by just getting the stereochemistry.